spiritual lure opposition leader Raila Odinga's community. The occupants and some of their neighbors had sought refuge inside from the violent youth. They now lie dead, their bodies still burning. Inside the town, police engaged gangs in running battles as soldiers struggled to remove the roadblocks. There was little traffic on the Nairobi Naivasha Highway, one of the country's major arteries. The few vehicles plying the road were stopped and searched for members of some ethnic communities. Using machetes and other crude weapons, the youths meted out brutal violence on anyone they found. There are now fears that the cycle of attack and revenge is already beyond the control of the security forces. Flying over Naivasha, we saw the devastation caused by the violence in the town, a popular tourist destination. Naivasha is also at the heart of Kenya's multi-million dollar flower industry. In nearby Nakuru, the lawlessness continues. Houses continue to be torched as armed youth run amok. The displaced, frightened and desolate seek protection. Here, hundreds of families have sought refuge in a church. It cannot accommodate them all, and many have to live in the open. The Kenya army deployed to quell the violence tries to help some of the displaced get away from the misery. We are in Afraha Stadium in Nakuru, which is home to thousands of people displaced from their homes. They have with them the little they managed to salvage from their destroyed houses. And here, those who have just arrived are queuing to register. They will have to do so or else they don't get any help. Rose Hamoye is lucky to be alive. Her home was destroyed by armed gangs who killed some of our neighbors. Banga. They came with machetes and were slashing people to death. I saw a schoolboy, his head was split in two. They were burning the houses of those that they killed. We've seen horrors here. The displaced are well guarded in the stadium, but it's all they have. They have little to eat and no shelter from the rains and cold nights. I've had nothing to eat all day. We cannot go out and buy any food, and we've consumed all we had. We just need to be taken away from here to our rural homes. And the government is struggling to bring the bloodshed to an end. We caught up with the Rift Valley Provincial Commissioner just before he embarked on another aerial survey of the situation. The situation is tense in the town here, Nakuru. but the outskirts, we have been able to maintain the security and the things will, be, will cool down. Of course, things are tense, but I'm sure I will be able to overcome it. And as the violence continues, the displaced in Nakuru are too afraid to go home. Some say they will wait here for calm to return. But for others, what they have just witnessed is just too harrowing, and they say they just want a safe passage out of the town. Mohamed Adou Al Jazeera, Nakuru, Kenya.